Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and I want to talk to you a little bit about configuring your ID for use with Angular. So in particular, I'm going to talk a little bit about VS Code or Visual Studio Code, because it's one of the easiest IDEs to get started. Uh, to download and install it, you simply search for VS Code, uh, or I'll include a link on the description below. Once you're on the website, you'll, it'll look a little bit like this. They've got Mac version, Linux version, Windows version. Basically, any platform that you're going to be using, Visual Studio Code is available for it. Uh, when you download, you run through the standard install process, and then you're going to launch it, and you're going to see something like this. Uh, the reason I recommend Visual Studio Code uh, is because for beginners, it does a really uh, some cool things. So if we go and we create a new project, so we just ran ng new test project using the CLI that I, I've talked about in other places. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit file open folder and we'll navigate to that test project and we'll just hit OK. So this is pulling in all of the files that are not naturally scaffolded by the Angular CLI. Uh, and it's going to give us a few things, right? So we've got our components, we've got our modules, uh, and you're going to see all of the code coloring, syntax highlighting is already there for us. Uh, and we automatically get all of the benefits of uh, TypeScript and of the ES2016 support that's built into VS Code. So for example, we know that HTTP is in the HTTP module. I could import that if I wanted to. Um, a couple useful things over on the left side here. So you've got source control. So if you're using Git, uh, you're out of the box going to get all of the changes are going to be reported here. You can uh, pretty simply write a message. Uh, you can push those uh, commits up to a server and so on. Uh, but one of the most useful things that I've seen is uh, in their extensions. And so if you look in the extension store here and you search for Angular language service, one of the things you're going to find is the Angular language service built by the Angular team. And so if we install this and we hit reload, uh, what this will do is this will add language support into all of your templates. So just like we have, uh, we're doing normal Angular development, we're going to have a component, and maybe I've added a uh, object such as person, right? So this person is an object. It's got a name and it's got a location. Uh, we could add, say, other, and then this has uh, got some other property. Uh, what will happen then is because we've saved this file and because this file is connected to the template by this template URL in our component. Uh, declaration here, we can actually go and look at that HTML and we'll see that as I'm typing an expression here, we will get all of that tab completion. So I, we know that person is an object that's available uh, to evaluate, and so I can type person. Uh, and then if I hit period, I'm actually going to see all of the properties, including the property we just wrote. Uh, and if you supply types for any of these objects, that's going to be automatically available. And the other way that the Angular language service can help you uh, is in your decorator. So in your component, in your ng module decorator, uh, it will give you some warnings if you're doing things that are not compatible with our ahead of time compilation mode uh, or the more advanced compilation mode. And so I want to take a look at a couple more things that, that you can do with Visual Studio Code. Uh, the first is if we add back in that uh, sort by popular here and I search for uh, Angular uh, snippet. One of the ones that's going to pop up here is by a gentleman named John Papa. So uh, he's a, a uh, well-known person in the community that works on Angular, especially in Windows environments. And so uh, he's released a set of snippets that will help you more quickly write code. So if you're trying to create a new component from scratch and you don't want to use the CLI, he's got snippets that will help you to take advantage of some of those things. Uh, and then there's one more project that I want to show you, one more extension uh, that I recommend you install if you're using VS Code, which is called uh, VS Code Icons. And it should just be here at the top here by Roberto Huertas. Uh, we're going to install this and then we're going to reload one more time. Uh, what this does is it takes all of the kind of bland file listings from my normal explorer and it adds in all of these icons. And so if you've never used this uh, extension before, uh, you'll want to, so it'll normally uh, be a little blank, these icons will be missing. And if you hit Control Shift P or Command Shift P, you can just search for icon theme. And what it will do is it will actually give you options for what icon set you want. So if you select VS Code icons, you'll get all these super nice icons. And the, the nice thing about this is they're actually aware of platforms and, and frameworks like Angular. So for example, we have here app.component.ts, and it knows that that's a component file. And so you get this nice little Angular logo, which it's differentiating from, for example, uh, just a stock polyfill file, uh, which makes it a little bit faster to find your code, especially if you're using uh, some of our standards around naming conventions where you're going to have the same name repeated a lot of times, uh, and the icons can help you more quickly differentiate those things. So hopefully that was a little bit about uh, empowering you to get your IDE configured if you're using VS Code uh, for Angular development. Thanks so much.